Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm a little bit scruffy because I'm, I'm still a little wet. I've been in and out of the ring and um, it's it's been raining like crazy and I did a feed run and dirt run and stuff this morning so I'm still kind of soaking wet. But um, today is a really exciting day for me because it's time for these guys to go in the incubator and I got the incubator all set up um yesterday afternoon and it has held temp and humidity overnight so i'm gonna go ahead and get these in so um let's go talk for a while okay this is our cabinet incubator and I'll go over here and show you there's water in the bucket and i've got it sitting back in this little cubby right here where we can keep an eye on it in the dining room but I hooked up the water line, and it's really, really easy. It's just a quick snap connection. And we'll get this opened up here real quick. And if you look in there, that's the water reservoir. And when this is up, the water's off, and then when it's down, it will add more water just automatically. It's a really easy to use float system. And there's the fans in the back and they blow across the water and that's what puts the humidity in. But the incubator is all clean and ready and the automatic turners are working really well. Um, so let's close this up. And I don't know if you can see back here very well, but there's all the controls. Let's see if I can get the camera back there. And the humidity went down and the temp went down because I had it um, open for a little bit. So that will come back up very shortly. And um, I'll probably, what I'll do is um, I'm going to run back in the other room real quick and we can talk about the time on the eggs. And we'll be right back. Okay, um, our cabinet incubator is absolutely wonderful, and we've raised so so many critters in it. But um, they are really easy to use, and they take an awful lot of the guesswork out. Um, for for ducks, you want the temp at ninety nine five, and you want fifty percent humidity until the last few days um, when you you take them out of the trays and lay them in the bottom and you stop moving them then you want to raise the humidity in there a little bit and um, now I have duck eggs right now I've got nine of them and um, I still have two or three days left to collect eggs they go in for 28 days and um, they can go as long as 32 um, so don't be surprised if you put duck eggs in and they're not exactly ready in 28 days. It could take them a few extra days. Um, the chucker eggs, they take, let me make sure I get this right, 23 to 24 days. Um, a little bit longer than a chicken. Um, chickens are 21 days and I believe quails are 17 to 18 somewhere in there um the chucker eggs are 23 to 24 days and they require um 50 percent humidity until the last few days um now the cabin cabinet incubators are great um especially if you get them with an automatic turner um 
it will turn them every few hours. It will just tip the rack. And anytime you need to get in or out or move eggs or, or anything, you can shut that off and, and tip it back where you want it. And it makes it makes things so much easier. Um, we've used the little styrofoam uh, incubators in the past and uh, we get kind of mixed results and that's why we went to the big cabinet one. Um, just about anything that you put in there, if it's fertile, you will definitely get a bird. So I'm really excited because these are the, the first set of chucker eggs that that I got to run around and pick up and um, I get to put them in there all on my own. Um, we did buy the first set and those are the, the birds that we have out in the chicken tractor and they're a whole lot of fun and um, I really enjoy them. But I also know that, that they're pretty tasty too. So yeah, um, anyway, we're looking to enlarge our flock and this will be the first set going in. Now, starting tomorrow, I'm going to collect eggs um, for another 10 days and see how many I can get in. And I'll probably um, try to get a third set in. And the duck eggs, um, I'm going to put them in, I think it's three days after, after the chucker eggs. It's not going to be very long, but... They should roughly come out of the incubator within about 48 hours, so we'll have a whole bunch of little baby birdies all at one time. But I'm getting really excited. I want to get these in the incubator, so we're going to go back out to the incubator and we're going to put them in and um, I'll show you how I put them in the trays and yeah, I'm excited. So um, give me just a minute and... Um, We'll go out there and we'll get them in the incubator. Okay, um, I figured I should probably do this on a, a better surface than trying to do it out there on the floor. So, um, this is a small egg rack for quails and chucker sized eggs. And um, what I'm going to do, I have several of these and plenty of room in the incubator. So I'm going to separate them just a little bit, but I am going to mark these. so that I know which set is which. Um, I'm just using a pencil. I've, I've seen people use all kinds of things to, to mark them. Um, I personally wouldn't use a permanent marker or an ink pen. So I'm just marking these so I know and what I'm doing is I'm writing C1. So these will be my chuckers and my first set in. And I believe that I have 22 eggs to go in today. But since I have a little extra room right now, I am going to space these out so they get really good airflow around them. Just a little bit more space. A few over here. I know this is the kind of meticulous part, but I tend to like to make sure I know which eggs are which. And I keep everything wrote out on the calendar so I know exactly what day to take them take them down when they went in, when I'm expecting them. We got two more, so we have, yep, we have 22. And that means this tray is empty. So I'll be needing to start collecting more. So I've got these all marked and I've got them all all set where they get really good airflow through them. Um, if you have a large set of eggs, you can fill all of it up. It's, this is just what I would do as my own preference, just because I have the extra space right now. So, let's go out and get them in the incubator. Okay, I 
got the automatic turner off and I leveled these back out. So I'm going to very carefully set these in the top rack. And for right now, I'm going to put them about in the middle. But I'll be able to put another tray here, two more here, and two more on the bottom. So, probably put this one in up here, and then I'll put the, the duck eggs right here beside them. And um, that'll only be a couple of days, and we'll have one rack of eggs all ready to go. Okay, so everybody's in and they're set up and um, I get to put some ducks in in a few days and I, I know that this might not be exciting for some people but it really is for me and um, I really enjoy it and it it's one of those things that really makes me feel like spring is definitely absolutely here. Um, in just over three weeks we are going to have lots of baby birdies and um, I'm really excited and it may not be for everybody, but, you know, I really do enjoy it. But I'll quit talking your ear off. Um, I, I can't help it. It's, it's exciting, and I really enjoy it, and I can't wait until they're all here. But um, I won't keep you any longer. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to ring that little bell to let you know when I do something else goofy. Um if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I, I know the world's crazy right now. And we just wish that everybody is, is staying at home and staying safe. And um, everything here is going very well. So, happy spring. Take care of yourself. Love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one.